Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm going to take you how to turn this pile of stuff into decorations and gifts for the holidays. What fun can we have and how much ease can you have with things you already have, things that you're recycling like coffee bags and old t-shirts um, and your acrylic pouring skins, your cabochons and old canvases that maybe you only like a small part of. <laughs> so let's clear this all away and get to it. How much fun can we have? Okay, so first off, I'm going to show you how to turn um, these cabochons. Those of you that have been watching my channel for a while know that I dip these cabochons in um, in my wet paint and so they've got paint stuck to the glass not particularly durable not waterproof um, but I'm going to show you some ways that you can turn these into decorations for your tree or around your home hanging around little jars necks for with cookies in them whatever that you would like to use those for um, first up fastest and most simple way to do it of course is if you have purchased the cabochons with a backing uh, this is one I've had for a while and here in Rotorua they do tarnish quite badly uh, sulfur it's a joy anyway so if you have stuck it into a um, tray backing super super simple grab yourself some cord string anything you like whatever even some tinsel will do the job and whoopsie <laughs> clumsy fingers today do a box knot right over left doop 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 left over right doop 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 and hang it up all nice and tight all right, that's really, really simple, simple, simple thing to do. Um, next up, I'm going to show you um, a couple of ways that you can use these to create some magic. First one, you ever got one of those packets of socks that, you know, three pack that comes with one of these cute little hooks? <laughs> I've been saving them this year because I've had this gut feeling this awareness, this knowing that I needed to keep them. And guess what? They would hang on a Christmas tree quite nicely. So, grab yourself a little bit of glue. Stick it on. The hole in the back, um, If when you put it on there, you make sure that that glue seeps through, uh, through that hole. Even maybe pop a drop of glue through the hole so that it just grabs on the outside of there and voila you're ready to go easy peasy lemon squeezy I'm not gonna glue it because you guys get the picture you know what I mean um, this next one I'm going to make a ribbon now what am I going to make a ribbon out of? I don't have any ribbon. I'm not going to the shop to buy a ribbon. But I do have an old red t-shirt that I'd put into the rag bag. Um, why? Because it is, um, you know, ready for it. So, let's cut this into strips. Let me zoom out a little bit for you. Okay, so I'm going to grab my fabric scissors because, you know, fabric scissors are useful like that. There's my paper scissors. These are my fabric scissors. Um, and I'm just going to cut strips. Now, obviously, you can be as tidy or as messy as you like. Maybe you could use pinking shears to make a funky zigzag edge. Um... All I really need, and this is just the band, so it'll be quite thick. But what am I going to do with it is I'm going to just 
Where is my... Going to chop it off like that. And that's what it will hang from. Slide the branch in there or wherever you're, you're doing it. So make the make the hole big enough for whatever you're using it for and uh, then just slide it in but you've got of course got to glue it first so there's lots and lots of different ways that you can glue things um, and you'll have your favorites maybe you've got a fabric glue that works really well um, maybe you've got some uv resin that you know you can pop a drop in there. Oops, I'm going to go that way around. No, that's got paint on that t-shirt, part of t-shirt. Let's go that way. So I'm going to pop a drop in there. Hope you're all focused in. Pop a drop there. Make the loop. And then pop another drop there close the lid always very important with UV resin and then stick our little cabochon onto there now go and sit there outside in the sun for a few minutes and if you don't have any sun in your area due to the weather then a little UV light um, I've just got this little UV torch for those moments, but uh, a little UV light will go a long way to making that exactly what we're after. And here's another option for decorations. Um, you know, we all use little, um, what do you call it? boxes around the Christmas tree or if you've got a small Christmas tree on the table something this little to make it look like a present now these um if you I will put a link in the description these are little origami boxes that I have shown you how to make in the past uh to to present your your pendants in if you chose to but you can also use them to um you know serve a little something at dinner or um, just put a single after dinner mint or something like that in them but make them super special by once again just gluing a little something on the top whatever your color scheme is for the <laughs> for the holiday season pick a cabochon a shape a color uh, maybe even dip some on purpose for specifically for it but how pretty is that? Just a nice little box. Um, and it's got a beautiful little decoration on the top. It's special just for them. So, what's next? <laughs> just wait and see. So, how many of you have got little girls in your life that like pretty things? And here's a way that you can combine a hair accessory with your cabochons to make something deliciously pretty so um, here we go <laughs> um, again I'm just gonna use my UV resin um, there's a, if you want to try this one out this is the only one I've ever tried but it's a, it seems to be working well for me so um, the, if you go to my Amazon um, shop which is, there's a link in the description you can check that out oops hold it properly just make sure that you guys can see what i'm doing um, and i'm just gonna put a nice dollop there and then sit the f so you've got it curves right this bit here the top of the curve is what is going to sit a into the glue but you need to make sure that it's only that flat part of the surface surface 
that's sitting in the glue because the rest of it all bends and molds and changes in shape so if you can see there it's curving up and away which makes sitting it in the sun to dry super easy um, or you could be using something like E6000 or um, something like that if you are using a slow drying glue then make sure you have um, used a spray sealer or a varnish like nail varnish on the back of your cabochon just to seal that paint in before you subject it to moisture so let's put this one out in the sun as well you may need to support the pin, the clip so it doesn't pop out of there So another quick idea for the little girls in your life is these little um, hair clips uh, and just get some of the little small, uh, I'm not going to glue these on because I'm actually going to use these to make earrings, but uh, if you can imagine, because I'm not very good at balancing, <laughs> um, a nice row of these little earring capuchons glued on to create it's just something little and pretty obviously gluing may you may need to glue one at a time let it set so that it doesn't fall off while you're doing the next one <laughs> so that you can change the angle of the dangle while it's setting but there was that's that's another idea i'm not as i say i'm going to be making earrings out of these um, which of course is another option when you are looking at little girls um, presents um, you can buy several different things I've got two of the three that I've found you've got the the hanging ones you've got clip-on ones for little girls who don't have their ears pierced or older people whose ears don't like earrings anymore like me and you can also get the studded, like the ones that go through the ear, like a, a stud. And they, you know, you buy them in packs, like this, this box actually came with the glass on one side and the earring hangers on the other side. And you just glue those in, they sit in beautifully. And if you buy them as a pack with the cabochons and the bits together, they are brilliant. So that's another little idea for little girls. Um, or not so little girls. Who knows? How much fun can you have sharing those with people? So moving on to gifts for people. That's the little gifts for those people that you don't spend a lot on. But, um, you know, it's nice to have something under the tree for them. Or you know workmates things like that is to take a magnet and stick it on something that you've painted whether it be one of these little wooden um, wooden ones or a cabochon or whatever you like they make great magnets on the fridge to decorate your fridge um, just be be really aware I found that um, these self sticky ones don't stay stuck very well <laughs> so if you're gonna buy these self sticky ones I would also put a dob of glue underneath them especially on the wood though they, they just don't seem to want to stick um, and also be aware of the magnets that you're getting uh, some magnets, when they're only this small, aren't actually strong enough to hold up what you've stuck to them. Never mind, put paper behind it because the, you know, the extra layer of paper between the magnet and the metal can be just that extra bit and it ends up falling off and not being useful. So do invest in that extra little bit of um, value. See, look. That was looking like it was nice and stuck but as soon as i went to take it off it came off so i'm going to be re-gluing all of these um, and creating those for my stall tomorrow 
Um, these are all just little wood um, wood bits that I bought at the craft craft store. Craft store, goodness, going to start to sound like you lot now. Um, so, you know, glue them on as well. You know, don't rely on the double sided tape that they come with. That's fine for paper, but it's not if it's going to be anything of any weight. So, next. Um, so the next one I'm going to show you is the cards, the greeting cards that I create. I ha already have a video of these. The link for that will be in the description below. But these are just so super easy to make with leftover um, card scraps. Uh, you know, you, you take a piece of card, you cut a bit out, you double sided sticky taper onto a pre made card, and I've got it all set up so that I can um, feed those cards through before I stick this painting on. <laughs> feed them through my printer, and it prints out who I am and that it's actual painting, and they are a great gift. Uh, maybe a pack of five as a little gift for somebody or um, you know or use make small ones and use them as gift tags on bigger presents whatever works for you but just you know have fun with it and use up those scraps of paint uh, what you know I've got a little scrap of paint here that's super pretty if it didn't have that kind of messed that up but I could cut out just that little bit that doesn't have the white on it and on the un on the back put a bit of white paint tidy it up punch a hole in it and use it as a gift tag so just keep asking questions guys what else is possible what could I use this for what what can I create with this those are great questions to keep asking Okay, so the next decoration idea that I've got for you is I found these at the, um, what are they, clearance stand last year. You know, always check out what's available on the clearance stand at the end of any holiday season. Um, these baubles are designed for you to put your um your photos in and hang them on the tree you know they've got behind there they've got pictures of dogs and kids and blah 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 but why not use them for your paintings so i've just pulled out a couple of sparkly lovely little ones here and it's super simple you literally just Draw around, draw around the shape, just like this. Uh, if your pen will work, doesn't matter. <coughs> excuse me. It doesn't matter if you're um, a little bit rough with this because you're going to be cutting inside the line. Okay. And you just, oops, you don't use your fabric scissors, you use your paper scissors. And just come in from it and cut just inside the line. Because we've drawn that line on the outside of the bauble, we need to go on the inside so it actually fits inside. Oop, aeroplane. super quickly cut this out just so that you can get a sense of what I'm meaning and you know if you cut it too big you can always cut it down if you cut it too small it can cause problems so there we've got a pretty star I would if I had time cut another one out glue them together so we've got double sided but for this little see look too big so I'll just trim it down and so once you've trimmed it down so that it fits <laughs> you just pop that back in there pop that in there 
and um, this is you can see this has two little bits that come together and when you put a piece of string through those and tie it it will hold together if you just um, it will fall off these ones anyway um, there may be other ones that fit better but <laughs> as soon as you've got that piece of string poked through and I would always tie it just above the above there just to hold that together nice and firm and then do another knot and it will hang and if you do paint have painting on both sides then if it spins on the tree it's all good with me you know <laughs> so uh, I've seen these for all sorts of prices I'm as I say I got this on there this pack on the um, clearance table I think I got it, the whole pack for two dollars uh, recommended retail is a lot more than that but I've seen individual ones of these sold for two dollars fifty each uh, you know I don't know what it's going to be like in your country but you know what magic can you create with those all right just a couple more to go so let's get some space cleared up on this and um the first one the next one i'm going to talk to you about is using these cheap frames this was a dollar fifty from aj's emporium where i get my paints from uh and again check them out on clearance they are always around and reasonably cheap and they come apart super easy because they are designed for you to put your photos into and uh, so this one you just spin those little nobules ah, and it all pops out so what are we going to do with that let me show you So some of you have got old paintings that you love a particular piece of or you, um, you know, you've got runoff like I've got on these. This is one of the um, ones I did in my 19 paintings in two hours video. <laughs> um, I'll link that in the description before as well in case you guys want to go in and see the absolutely outrageous fun we had on that live video. Um, but all you need to do is just grab the frame and line it up and go, oh yes, that bit. And how pretty is that, guys? That's just super pretty. And then for those of you that, uh, well, how do I cut that? What you can do is you can put the glass back in, then do the lining up. Okay. Oh yeah that bit there put your hand down on the frame on the glass and take the frame off okay then grab your trusty pen and i suggest you use a color that actually might show up on whatever you're doing or just press hard, hard enough and go around and mark the outside of the glass and again of course this is going to be bigger than what you need because that glass fits in that frame quite tightly okay but you don't want to go too much smaller because on this frame there's not a lot of overhang you can see where my finger is there so we're just going to cut that out just inside that line that we cut so that it's the same size as the glass and you don't even need to put the glass back in if you're using cardboard like this. Um, some of you might be using old canvases and you may not want the glint, glimmer, glint, glint, whatever, however you want to word that, of the glass. And you can just pop that in pop that in if you want to put the glass back in that's totally good too these just need to be pushed down and back under just like that down and back under and the great things with this sort is that they do put 
a bit of pressure and so if you aren't putting quite so much bulk back in look at that done you could perhaps write a holiday message on that if you wanted to uh, just have it on your desk at work or just however you desire it to be how much fun can you have I mean honestly guys if you're anything like me I have lots of paintings where there's a piece of it about that big that I'm like oh that's so pretty and the rest of it's like eh it's all right and nobody's bought it so why not grab yourself some cheap frames cut them out saw how quick that was the other option of course <laughs> if you've got some time is to use the glass out of the frame as if it was a cabochon now you might need more than just the one bit of blue tack to hold it if you've got a pile of paint wet paint just dip and lift turn it over and leave it to dry and once it's dried whatever you saw that you dipped it in is what will come out and if you check out my cabochons video you'll understand what I mean and then once it's dry you don't need to seal it and you can just put it glass front up back in the frame put the back back on it and it's done signed sealed to live when it's signed because you know it's not but anyway painted it's dried and you don't need to worry about washing off silicon you don't need to worry about sealing it in any way as soon as it's dry pop that back back on and you're done so i hope that gives you another suggestion you may if you're wanting to sell it um perhaps pop a bit of double-sided tape on the the backing piece so that it holds like this one i don't know if you just saw me do it. it it does move around there is a bit of movement room and look there it actually comes out of the frame at that point because i don't have the glass in front of it so i think i might pop that out for sale on my table tomorrow at the rotorua arts village fair so hey how's it get any better than that what else is possible well there's a couple more ideas to come so hang in there guys we're nearly there but and i know this is a long one and there's lots of ideas in it for you to use in the for the coming holidays so for this next project you're gonna need a few things one i would recommend having a cutting board whether that's a large chopping board or a proper cutting mat or whatever that looks like for you but we're going to need to be able to cut with ease so I always like to have my cutting board here just in case that I forget and just put my knife through my table <laughs> <clears throat> uh, don't laugh I did that once anyway so what we've got is we've got a notebook just a little cheap um, and I think these are like 15 or 20 cents at the beginning of the school year they're just super cheap um, you're gonna need some double-sided sticky tape that's quite useful and a painting which you haven't sold but you love or it's, it might be a really big painting that you hate all of it except for a piece about that big <laughs> Or it's a funky painting but nobody's actually ever going to hang it on their wall I really really love this piece I think a little girl would love to have this as a notebook um, to me these little balloon kisses look like fairies dancing in the garden so uh, let's get this party started all right first off I'm gonna get it off the wood and I find the fastest and easiest way to do that is just to run a blade round 
and always dragging that blade away from you, away from anyone else. And at some point you're going to get to the point where you have to be a little bit more deliberate in your cutting. Make sure you get through all the layers so that you actually get that whole piece off. Goodness me, this is going to be a long video, isn't it? I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, see, be deliberate or rip it. Up to you. <laughs> so now we've got that all laid out and flat. And we can actually use it. So what I'm going to do is look at, just look at the size how big, how much, and which pieces I really want in there. You know, I really like these four here. And so I'm going to actually go with towards the bottom at about that point there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just pop my scoring mark a few millimeters away from on each side. where I want and now I know that it's that's the bottom and that's roughly where we're going okay then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to actually glue this on before I go any further why is that because I don't want to pull this apart to pull it apart means to then actually find a stapler to be able to put the pieces back in or fiddle around, whatever. It's not fun. I don't want to do it. So it takes way too much time. So what am I going to do? I am going to, first off, um, mark in pen or pencil where my lines are going to be. And because I'm working on canvas, that's pretty easy. Just run, run that along there. Um, ooh, this could be a present for one of my nieces for Christmas. That's a good idea. <laughs> um, and then just put the, this side down. Just It's a matter of trying to get this bit of card flat on the board with no bends in it so that you know how big it's going to be uh, and that's why these are really good because they do they are just a piece of cardboard they don't have any fancy binding like some of the um, you know this sort of notebook has a fancy bendy cornery binding bit because it's so fat and these are so much easier. Super simple. And now what I'm just going to do is find the end of my tape. I haven't used this roll yet. And lay that out right over the edge and really rub it in with my nail. And go all the way over the edge of that bit too. Really need to get rid of those fabric scissors out of my reach, otherwise I am going to put sticky on my fabric scissors, and that would not be fun. Okay, so as you can see, I'm I'm gonna get this glued on before I cut it off, but cut out the shape. That way, I know that we definitely have. Try not to overlap your tape because you've got to get be able to get this bit of paper off the double sided tape so we're going to go all the way around the edges but we're also going to go on either side of the spine so before you start peeling off your double sided tape paper you need to lay that back on there Okay, 
I'm going to lay it on there and then I'm going to say, right, well, we've got about a quarter of an inch, no, an eighth of an inch, um, sixteenth of an inch, whatever that is, five mil. So I'm going to come in by a little bit more than that and just run a bead of tape down there and then come across and run a bead of tape down there. Now, if you are planning on this being really well used, opened and shuttered and written in, and you might also want to perhaps put some PBA glue on there. Uh, I'm not choosing that right now, okay? Um, so I'm going to peel off one side first. Jump. I love doing that. Anybody else get a real kick out of removing the plastic covering on brand new screens? I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I really am making a mess of my table here. I'm, I'm not cleaning everything off completely before I show you the next thing. So it's starting to become a bit of a mess. All right, so I'm only doing one side and I'm gonna position that in according to our green lines. Yours don't have to be green, of course. And just put some pressure down on that. That's not only putting pressure down so that the tape goes onto the cardboard, but also a little bit more blending it in with the canvas. Okay. And then peeling off that other piece. And that other piece. <laughs> And of course, you don't have to even say um, waste these. Hang them on your Christmas tree. Tinsel. How's it get any better than that? Free tinsel. Well, not free, but you know, recycled. So I'm just going to pull this up. Pull it up. And lay it down. So that it's completely covered. Okay, and again, pushing down on all of that tape, really giving it a good Thai massage. <coughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's how I think of Thai massage. Anyway, okay, so we're all nice and tight and, oops, see how I went, <laughs> where I went over. They've glued themselves together. That's okay. So there we have our bound book. And it's just time to trim that off. Now if you want to see me binding a... And another book with cardboard like big thick more like this I will link in the description to a video where I did that um, and how cool is this super quick super easy And super fun and a great way to use up those partly nice paintings <laughs> or super cool paintings that nobody wants oops I'm going a little bit onto the cardboard there but look at that how cool is that we have a beautifully painted not very well cut <laughs> huh. 
How's that? I like it. Another way you could have done it is to run the tape around the cardboard and then just laid it down, folded it over. Um, you know, whichever way works for you, this way works for me. And I've got a really lovely little book that somebody will love for Christmas. <laughs> Look at those little darlings. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. How's it getting a bit of mat? Okay, I think I have just a couple more little ideas and suggestions. So let's go find out what those are. Okay, brainwave. I just had a brainwave. How does it get any better than this? How does it get any easier than this? This cutoff stuff? Like, what can you create with that? There you go. Put a staple through there and hang it on a tree like that. Snip it through there. Trim that up there. Trim it. Cut it in half. Get your hole punch. Put a hole through there. And... Two... Glen... Love... Mickey! And you've got... A really simple little present tag. How does it get any easier than that? What else could you use these for? Um, hey, you know, even this one's already got a little bit of glue, a little bit of double-sided tape to stick it to the, <laughs> to the present. What else is possible, guys? Keep asking, what else is possible? How can I use this to my advantage? What grand and glorious adventures can I have decorating my home, playing with what I've created already and creating even greater so, next. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. I promised I would use up a coffee bag at the beginning there. And you know, look inside your coffee bags. And if they're anything like mine, they're all silver on the inside. So, what can you create with those? Um, You know, hey, if you're... dexterous enough and willing to screw it up a little bit beforehand you can turn it inside out maybe I don't know just thinking of ideas or just um you know put something in it wrap a ribbon around it and present <laughs> no you know, there's so many things you can do with one of these. Uh, and if you go through coffee like me and my husband do, you'll have a lot of them. So, what is one of those things that you can do? Um, first thing I'm going to show you is just to cut a panel out just like that. And you can cut this into any shape you like. Um, whatever is fun for you, whatever would create the most. And um, what you can do is just, where are we? Where did I put it down? Grab a cabochon. Ta-da! Glue it down and I am just going to cut a little vaguely geometric, vaguely asymmetric. I don't know what shape I'm doing, but just cutting something. Put 
glue that on there pop a little hole in the top let me just let me use a bit of double-sided tape rather than glue just to give you a real sense of how this works <laughs> doesn't have to be perfect it's just a decoration pop that on there cut a little hole and uh, grab your cording thread it through and there's a decoration for you hey you know that's a super quick pendant for a, an outfit as well if you're going to some fancy dress party and need something fabulous <laughs> And if you just use a double-sided ticky, double-sided ticky, 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 sticky tape, you can just peel it off and reuse it, if you like. So what else can we do with this? Oh, oh, so much. But one idea that I had that I wanted to share with you was just cutting... Cut, 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 cut. Anything that's left over after you've made your decorations. Um, to start cutting it. We can create and are you starting to see what I'm doing I'm just making my own tinsel really that's what I'm doing I'm gonna just trim that knob off there just round and round the mulberry bush the monkey chase the weasel you can do it as fat or as skinny as you like and then drape it over things hang it around your neck whatever you desire to do today to create something pretty right away <laughs> look at this big pile of tinsel out of cough it saves money you were going to throw it away anyway so when you throw it away at the end of christmas so you don't have to store it you're not wasting money something you already had and look at this look at all this glittery tinselly funky i mean we get purple bags and all sorts of fun coloured bags and once it's cut up like this it's not obvious that it's a coffee bag drape that round your tree if you're really careful you can make it so that the silver is always on the outside and homemade tinsel okay it's got nothing to do with acrylic pouring but it's fun it's easy and it's great to get the grandkids involved with get them recycling reusing um, you know, scissors rather than a knife. What else is possible? <laughs> um, and now, so there's just one more thing I wanted to show you. So, some of you may remember this painting. I did this, oh, I don't know, probably a couple of years ago, at least over a year ago. And I did it in order to get some sort of textured photos for a project I was creating. Um, I've taken the photos. I really don't see somebody coming along and going, Oh, Michelle, I want to pay you lots of money for that. So, 
I'm going to turn it because it already is sort of treeish with maybe some snow. So why not make it even more treeish? Make it into a Christmas tree picture if you've got some white paint that's not disgustingly gone hard. Um, <laughs> so, here's my base paint that I use. Um, here's a brush. And I'm just going to kind of create a little bit more kind of tree, snow, outline. There's one there. Let's put a slightly bigger one in the background. See how I'm just dabbing the paint. Just kind of giving a sort of branch look. It's not really got to be anything beautiful, elaborate. These branches go behind these ones. Just giving it that branched look. No? Just, oh look, there's some snow landed on there. How's it getting any better than that? I'm going to have another slightly shorter one on this side. Just the three wise trees delivering the gift of kindness and caring to the planet the gift of joy and peace and ease isn't that the gifts we all want for this Christmas this holidays here in New Zealand we don't have snow at Christmas it's the middle of our summer so Does it kind of have a vague sense of freedom? <laughs> freedom, freedom. How much more can we choose? How quick was that? Super quick. We got some trees, and pop the brush into the water. Now, what am I going to do with these trees? I am going to decorate them. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm going to put some love on the top. Some sparkly baubles hanging down. Just some love held around. Some sparkly baubles hanging down. A special little one for you. Dinky, dinky fun for you. What else have I got? Come on. Give me some more colours. See what I'm doing? And if you just double-sided sticky tape them or blue tape them, obviously once the paint's dry would normally be the idea. Um, once the paint is dry, then have some fun. Put a little bit of poster putty, blue tack, maybe hang some different shaped ones and get some glitter going happy happy joy joy that's what I say so um what else have I got I've got some this one this one this one oops there's some yeah make them into some real Christmas trees get some magic Add some of your magic. The magic you've created over the year. Hang 
them on, make it pretty, and maybe take a photo book, make it into your Christmas card for the year. Um, plump, ta da! Oh, I think that one actually would make a better, better topper. <laughs> so, how much fun can you guys have for Christmas this year? What are your infinite possibilities and what can you create today that will bring joy and ease now and in the future? I adore you guys. I'm so grateful for you joining me and I look forward to playing with you um, for many, 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 many more videos to come. I so love creating with you guys and guess what today's friday new zealand time friday night when you when this has been uploaded on sunday morning guess what's happening sunday morning Ta -da! i'm going live so you got a little bit of time if you're not already on there jump on sign up be you change the world come play with me um 24 hours notice you get on this so you don't got a lot of time actually <laughs> and so sign up and i'll send you an email to tell you exactly when that's going to be i might even be wearing some of these fantastic little items that i've created today and um if you'd like to join me on um, on my video feed, on the chat to me while I'm working feed, rather than just typing to me, jump over to mickeyart.co.nz forward slash Patreon or patreon.com forward slash mickeyart and it's $10 a month, you get two videos um live with me come play what else is possible i adore you guys if i don't speak to you again before then have an amazing christmas if you're new here say hi in the comments i would love to see you say hi um if you've got other ideas on how to use your cabochons or your paintings to decorate your home for the holidays please 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 also pop those down in the description and how much fun can we have i adore you bye bye